Hi, my name is Richard Deacon, and I'm the Senior Marketo Specialist here at R2I. Today, we're going to talk about the customer lifecycle journey. For this webinar, we're going to take a high-level agnostic approach and not focus on Marketo, Eloqua, Pardo, or HubSpot, but on the three key areas. Those three key areas are pre-sale, adoption, and retention. We'll cover all the basic parts you need to include for both B2B and B2C. So let's break down those three steps. The first key we're going to cover is pre-sales. Getting the lead to convert is the primary goal of marketing automation. We want to drive customers down the funnel so they become an MQL and then an SQL. This is just marketing 101. We generally start our customer's journey by getting their lead information from a multitude of sources. They may have filled out a gated white paper or a contact form, but do they truly know what product or features they really want? We want to funnel those clients based on interactive features. Those key features should include the initial conversation and key to routing is get them to the proper content. This can be done by audience processing, using processes to filter members into the correct nurture. By segmenting these users, we can place them in the correct nurture. If their customer comes in in a general channel, we would include content that helps clarify the customer's needs. We wanna focus all future emails on the products or features they interacted with. We wanna drive them to the right product. Are you sure the buyer is getting to the right progression or the right product? Are they moving in the right motion? Or are they stuck in a dead end? We definitely don't want them to get stuck in a dead end because they're not going to convert. We want to track them and realize they might need a different product once they have more information. Start with these key items. And remember, it isn't a set procedure for all businesses. The key is to review and react to these results in the nurtures. The second topic we're going to cover is adoption. The heavy lifting to get the customer in the door is done. While pre-sale process tends to get the most marketing focus, and it's true, we do need to get the customer to convert before we can get them to use the product. Adoption is a key phase in the life cycle. We want the customer to realize the value of the product they just purchased. Nothing is worse than having a customer get a product that they don't fully understand and fully adopt. Adding a new customer to an adoption nurture seems simple, right? Well, pump the brakes. Nothing is quite that simple in marketing. You might have converted a lead, but the person that purchased the product doesn't always translate to the person who's actually using, installing, or configuring the product. This is a common issue with adoption nurtures. For example, the CTO or IT director makes a purchase, but the IT manager, worker, or team might be the one configuring and using the product. This, of course, is business specific and is often the case in B2B and not so much in B2C. We'll want to verify that we have the right person for the adoption nurture by monitoring activity and also inactivity in those emails. A few methods to accomplish this may include behavioral data. If your instance has actual data of when the customer is using and in the product, we can use that data to know where they are each step in the process and know that they're the right person. We want to check to make sure the customer is actually interacting with the emails. If they're not engaged, they might be having a problem adopting the product. If we're not getting any interaction with the customer, it may be time to actually reach out and talk to a representative and get them to have an interaction with the customer. By sending emails over and over again, we're not getting anywhere and the customer is just getting more frustrated with the process. We want the customer to use and purchase the product and use all its features and make it an effective and clean process. This process will benefit both the company and the client. We have to remember the adoption should have a similar weight as the pre-sale process. Once a customer is using the product, we need to maintain a healthy relationship with that client to make sure that they're still using the product and they'll want to continue to use the product for an extended period of time. This retention phase is a reason for the customer to renew the contact and not switch to a different product. We can accomplish this by using the following process. Continue to offer the client valuable content, either through newsletters or product updates or features or enhancements that the product might have that adds value to the product. Email interactions that introduce those upgrades or companion products that enhance or add value to their current product. You'll wanna find out what the customer experience is and identify if there's any gaps of knowledge or product features that you're missing. Renewals that offer discounts 
or reasons for the customer to renew the contract. With a heavy push to get the customers to convert, we need to place weight on keeping that customer. We don't want to end up with a constant cycle of winning and losing customers. The goal here is to get the customer, make that initial investment, and to convert the customer into a customer that's lasting. The options I have presented to win, adopt, and retain customers involve multiple steps and procedures. It's never one way to accomplish this. The key is knowing your business and its goals and apply those points in the previous slide to those key metrics. In future videos, we will dive into specific marketing automation instances to illustrate some of these options and processes and discuss how you can accomplish these goals. Once again, I'm Richard Deacon, the Senior Marketo Strategist here at R2Y. If you have any questions or comments, drop me a line below. Thanks for watching and have a happy marketing automation day.